Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to build a widget. So don't leave and learn magic with me. So today we are going to build a very simple widget where we can increment or decrement a value of a counter. And to do this, I just created a completely new project. So as you can see, I only have one home page and also the main model completely empty and to start building our widgets we can go to app and select go app directory in explorer let's click it is going to open our folder with the project and here we are going to right click and create a new folder and we are going to give the name of my widgets and we are going to open this folder, right click, and you can open your terminal here. Now we need to make sure that we have Node.js and npm installed. So to check, we can write npm v to check the version of the npm. And we can also see the node version. So in my case, it's 18.18.2. .18 you can have different versions, but regarding the NPM should be greater than seven and regarding the node should be higher than 16. So if you have everything ready, we can start by installing one tool that will help us create the widget. So write NPM install dash G and write yo and wait a few seconds to install. So now we can install another component. So write npm install dash g and then add mandix slash generator dash dash widget and wait a few seconds again. And here we are going to build our widget, so you can write yo at mandex slash widget and then give the name of your uh, custom widget. So in my case, I'm going to write count. And now it will execute the wizard. So you will need to give a name for your widgets. Uh, so in my case, it can be count a description. So I'm going just to write count description. You can write something better for your widget. So account description, organization. I'm going just to keep it as Mandix. Add a copyright. I'm going to just keep like this. License, initial version. So it will start in the version number one, but you can just change it to 0 .0 0.0.1 or something like that. Author. I'm going to give my name, so Ricardo Mendix Project Path. This is very important. So you should give the path to the project root. In my case, it's dot dot slash dot dot slash. So keep this. And here you can choose the programming language that you want to use for your widget. In my case, for this example, I'm going to use JavaScript. So click enter, type of component that I want to use. So we are going to use functions components. The type of the widget that we are developing, so for web and hybrid. And here we can start with the empty widget. We can also add unit tests, but we are not going to do that. So just write no. And to end tests, also no. Now it will install uh, all the dependencies for this widget. Now we can write cd and the name of the widget, in my case, count and open the Visual Studio Code or your text editor. 
uh, with this folder. Go to your project and open one page. You can click just in the empty space and then you can scroll all the way down and click F4 to update your project. And you should see the new widget on the add ons tab. You can just drag and drop to your page. If you click on the widget, you will see that we only have a one text box called default value and a description sample text inputs. So we are going to customize everything here. So for now, you can just write something, for example, test and click OK and start your project. So click to view app. And you should see on your app page to the text hello test. Now we can go back to Visual Studio Code, go to source, open the components folder. And here we have one component called hello world sample. We can change the name of it to count and inside of it we are going to change the export function from hello world sample to count button and now go to your count editor preview we are going to remove all the connection that we have with the, the component here so you can just delete this line and also uh, replace this tag hello world sample with just a div if and here you can save and go to count.jsx you can save and now go to count inside the folder source and here we are going to replace this uh, import component so at the end, we are going to write count. And here we are going to import the function count button. And replace the hello world sample with the count button. Now go to XML file. And here we are going to uh, change the properties of our widget. So where you can see sample text, we are going to write initial value. The type is going to be an integer. Required, we are going to change it to true. And we are going to add one more uh, property that is default value. And we are going to set this value to zero. Now the caption you can change to initial value. And as a description, you can write initial value of the count and save the file. Now you can open your terminal clicking new and here you can execute npm run start so to update our widget now you can go to your uh, studio click f4 to synchronize with the file system it's going to show up an error you can just click on the widget and select update and now you can just double click on it and you can see that is changed from sample text to initial value and uh, have a default value of zero. Now we are going to work on the component behavior. So go again to your component. And here we are going to import one more function that is use state. And, and here we are going to 
change the sample text with the initial value. We can remove everything from the turn, so we can open just parentheses. And here you can write div and you can add a paragraph. So a p tag, and inside the p tag, you can just write a initial value. And now, uh, between the export function and the return, we, we are going to create a few constants. So, const, we are going to write a count and a set count. So, we are going to use this uh, con constant to update the value of the count. So, equal to use state function and inside of it the initial value. And now we are going to create two functions, one to increment the count and another to decrement. So write const increment equals to, and now we are going to create a function. And here we are going to set set count. So previous state going to be the previous state plus one and for the decrement we can just copy this function change the name to decrement and here instead of plus one it's going to be minus minus one in the return we can use buttons so button and here we can so, and here as a value you can add just a plus and we are going to set a one click a function and inside the one click we are going to write increment for the plus button and you can just copy again so the increment functionality and change it to decrement and change the value to minus now we can save everything and then go to the account by the source folder and change it from sample text to initial value just copy this part and replace uh, all the sample text so here save and now we just need to change this uh, initial value with the count now save everything and if everything went well we should go to studio press f4 and then execute the project and soon uh, the project run we should see uh, accounts and the buttons to increment and increment the value so press view app and here as you can see we have the account value and then have two buttons so if i click in plus it should add one more one to the value and the other button should decrement one from the count. Perfect. So now if you want to export uh, and share with your colleagues or put in the marketplace, you can just go to your, your project folder, go to widgets and you should see here your widget. If it's not here, we can just try to, to refresh. If it doesn't work, you can go to your Visual Studio and inside your terminal, you can just close uh, this job and run npm, run build. And then it should appear inside the widget folder. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave the like and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.